Yes, it is true. So to speak, these items resemble the black boxes very much, but I cannot officially declare that these are the black boxes. We do not have the experts that could say, yes, it is them, and not anything else. So please answer the allegations. Ukraine and Western intelligence authorities say that there was a tweet connected to the DPR that said that your forces had taken control of a Russian missile system that it took from Ukraine, that they've intercepted conversations bragging that they had taken down the plane. So if you have the tweet and the conversations and the pictures that all point to your forces, how do you deny that it was your forces that brought down the plane. It is very simple to disprove it. All of the information that comes through the internet, in my opinion, is practically all lies. So the tweet is fake. The conversations that they say they intercepted are fake. The picture of the missile system moving back across the border, is that fake as well? I am telling you again, we have never been in possession of even a single Buk system. I can list all of the means of defense that we have in our possession. All of these means of defense are capable of crashing only the low-flying targets. There's a new report that Russia is helping train your forces from a base not far from your border. Is that true? Is Russia helping train your forces to fight against Ukraine? No, I will not comment on this question. You should ask Russia this question. But why no comment, Mr. Prime Minister, when you're in control of Donetsk, you would know whether they're helping or not? Why wouldn't you tell me? You know, a question that is addressing the Russian Federation, I do not have the moral right to answer, because at this moment, I am speaking as a representative of the Donetsk People's Republic. I consider it not quite right. The site. Four days it's been, and bodies are still there, in the sun. You could imagine if it were your family member how you would feel about their body being out there for so long. Why were they allowed to stay there so long? Why weren't the bodies taken care of and given dignity sooner? You know, it's a fantastic story. The thing is that as soon as members of OSCE arrived, they notified us that if we start moving the bodies, then we will be responsible. It got to the point where it resembled, if not a horror movie, then black humor. When an old woman comes to our rebel groups and says, look, there is a body of a headless man fell through the roof straight onto my bed, Please take this man away. But the rebels say no, because they are following instructions. Can you guarantee that international help will be allowed in right away now? Yes, of course, we give these guarantees. We invite them here and are waiting for them to be here as soon as possible. Understand why I'm asking. They call this the biggest crime scene in the world right now. 298 people were killed maybe as part of a conflict they had nothing to do with. And those families had to see the bodies of their loved ones rotting in the sun. So they're angry too. And it's hard to see it. And that's why I wanted to ask you why you weren't taking care of it sooner. People want answers about what happened out up in the sky. Because those people, as you know, did not deserve to die. I understand. I am trying to get rid of the fog of war and want to make you understand that we were trying to push for these bodies to be collected as fast as possible. I want to give you one last opportunity to answer uh, this question. The belief of the Western community and of Ukraine is that a Russian missile brought down this plane. And there is suspicion that it had something to do with fighters from your region. What do you want to say to people who believe that? What can I say? I have addressed this topic many times, but I am under the impression that myself and my colleagues are not being heard. Let's look at the real facts. Firstly, we didn't have any motive to target this plane. But for Ukraine, our enemy, the crash of this plane is very beneficial. One thing is for sure. Borodai is right. He had no motive to target the people on MH17. They had nothing to do with the situation on the ground here. How everything else, though, is up to being challenged. The idea that he and his forces did not move the bodies because they were referred not to or advised not to by the OSCE, we've asked and they are told that is a lie, that they were never advised to do that. There were cranes here moving things around. Nobody advised them to do that either. Holding the black boxes, they weren't advised by anybody to do that either. 
So while this was not a comfortable conversation to have, and his men are eyeing us very carefully right now, these questions had to be asked because this situation needs to change very quickly if there's ever going to be a clear picture of what happened here.